Very addictive indeed. Hello again. I always say I want to do something different and then I don't necessarily ever do anything different, but I'd like to do something different this time. And so I'm going to just try and push myself outside my box, which is I'm going to start with what I want as a swipe color. And my table is unlevel and it's causing me some issues. So if things start to run away, you'll understand what's going on. I haven't used my little spatula to push things across in a while. And I kind of think I probably should. I know I have another gold around here somewhere. I'm kind of laid back today. I'm not getting that open, so I'm just going to go for it. Whoops, I wasn't going to go for it quite that thoroughly. But now that it's done, it's done. And I have a few new and different colors. Or I've made larger batches of things, so I feel more comfortable using them. I don't know. Maybe not. Uh, turquoise. This turquoise or that turquoise. Or some other turquoise. Or maybe some other again. <laughs> I am almost out of that, sadly. That's my favorite color. And uh, I'm going to try harder than I did last time to use less paint. And also, I'm not doing the zigzag pattern, so it's going to be different. I'm put a little of that in there. And then I'm going to do something I like to do, which is put two colors that are similar, one lighter, one darker, next to each other just to see what will happen. Taking the cap off always helps. Got some metallic orange. It's a nice red orange. I like that. I'd like to see how far the paint would go. I really would. Without going all the way to the end. But I'm a little nervous about how that will work. If it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. I have some nasty pink around here that I'm always talking about using because it makes other things pop. And so I'm going to put a little of that in a few places. And now it's time to decide if I'm going to, yes I am, I'm going to put some yellow in there. Because it's a right rainbow. I'm going to put some in there too. You know what else? I'm going to put some in here. And I have no dark purple. That's not coming out really fast, so it's not like I'm going to have a lot of it anyway. I'm inclined to put a little more white or a little more black or maybe something obnoxious right in there. Ooh, cool. Look down there. Let's do. Let's see what happens when I put the turquoise metallic with the pink because in the real world it makes a really beautiful navy blue. All right, I'm almost past the point of no return as far as the not overdoing the amount of paint I'm using scenario. And I want to throw some red in there, not there, not here, yes, there, and here. And so much for not overusing the paint. How about some in there? Now, a moment ago, and I still do, have a nice wet rag. Is it wide enough? It does not look like it is wide enough, which means I require myself to find another wet rag that is wide enough. And they're around here. Believe me, I cut a bunch of them. That will work. It might be a little wider than I need. Uh, and we're losing our paint down on the side. Okay, not really super thrilled about that. I'm going to use a lid. No, that's not really going to work either. Okay, well this is becoming inconvenient. Hello, spatula. All right, I am going to because it's not in a zigzag, I don't think it's going to hurt anything. I'm going to tap that over there. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here, since we have lost a fair amount of paint on that side. I really had it pretty good and I didn't know it when it was nice and level. Now, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to fold the end over again. This is a wet t-shirt hem. And I'm going to drag it back 
over the edge. I really want to see what happens when I have less black for swipe color, because I can always go back and swipe again. I'm going to slap that on the end so it's pretty well covered, and we're going to go now. If I need to come back and add some, I will. I have a little less paint than sometimes. Looks like we're dragging a nice wave with us. Colors are looking pretty good. I'm happy. When I get to this end, I'm going to let the rag fall right over like I have in the past. And I just remembered I meant that for this to be a wave pattern. Okay then. <laughs> Never mind. I guess you can't have too many things, too many of a good thing, and this looks like it's going to be a good thing, so I'm not going to complain. I'm going to take some of that black in my finger, move it right along the side, because it tends to want to just drip off the end at this stage anyway, so I'm not losing anything. I have a working torch. I'm going to use that black. I'm going to use my... I'm going to use my rag. I'm going to try and... Hmm. What am I going to try and do? I'm going to try and get that to sit up a little bit. There we go. <laughs> Jury rigged! I was obviously not as prepared as I was hoping I was today. I'm going to take wet paint and hit the side of this again. I don't know how that's going to look and I know I got paint elsewhere so if I really want to I can scavenge. I'd like it to stay level so it'll do its thing but sometimes you get what you get when you're not prepared so there's your lesson. Be prepared. I'm going to move that because it looks like it wants to move down on the back and I don't really want it to move down on the back. What I do want it to do is to move that way. And I know there's a lot more pretty colors in there than that green. That's a lot of green. But I have tubing. I have straws, other straws. I have my spatula. Whoops, don't do that. Hopefully you're still in the picture. I think you're still in the picture. I'm going to put that right in there. Let's see what happens when I go the length. Wipe it off. Do it again. It seems like there was plenty of paint. I want to turn that around so it goes in the other direction in a second. And I know there's pretty colors under there. I'm just not seeing them right yet. So I'm going to keep wiping my fingers off as I move that around because it's absolutely painted as heck. I'm going to take my tubing and see what I can dig up. I like to do that. <laughs> yep, I like to do that. Probably not going to get bored with that anytime soon. <laughs> Interesting color combination, huh? Not really what I was expecting, actually. Oop, to sell, fuse more gold. If I wasn't worried about losing all my... Really? If I wasn't worried about losing my pretty purple, I would probably tip all of this down. And it's still a possibility in my head. But I think I will just decide to skewer my way to happiness. I roll... Roll my skewer. It's kind of looking like I don't know what. <laughs> I'm like I don't know what I'm gonna do. That's what I meant to say. It's kind of late in the day. It's getting kind of dark. I just want to tip that. And somewhere around here, into the bucket with your spatula, I have a piece of freezer paper. Hopefully I haven't completely polluted that straw. 
Ah, I like the zigging zaggingness of that. That is making me happy. Maybe I don't want to do that much more to it. Maybe I'm going to whether I think I want to or not. I am pretty happy with that, but I want to do something else and I don't know what that something else is. Maybe it means some more blowing. Yep, maybe it does. I think so. It's different, all right. Looks like spit comes out of medical tubing very really well, too. <laughs> all right, I have some Rain-X, and what did I do with it? There it is, and I want to use it. I don't want to use it on all of it, but I want to use it on that end right there. Wow, I think it went for it. It went for it everywhere. Even though I didn't put it everywhere, it went everywhere anyway. So that stuff definitely spreads. And I'm going back to straw, to medical tubing. Yeah, I wanted that turquoise out of there. And I want to find out what happens after I blow, after I use a little rain -X. See if we make some bigger cells or what. I'm dying to put, just, just put some more purple right in there. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of really, really, really interested in doing that and seeing what happens. Blow it around. Fake it. See if I can get away with it. Looks like I can. I like getting away with stuff. <laughs> I think the same thing is going to happen in a more random way with this nice color shift for turquoise. Which I could, in theory, probably spiral if I wanted to. But I'm not overly concerned with it. It did what I wanted it to do to a point. Bring it down a little more. Not too much. Let's see what happens when I skewer it. Try not to hit canvas. Steal some from one place. Throw it in another. Wipe your skewer off in between so you don't muddy your color. It doesn't necessarily muddy it as much as it Aberrates it and makes it something else. I like how much do I need? Do I want more? I want a little more. It's a laid back kind of day here. So I'm not moving as fast as I sometimes do. I'm trying to give myself a chance to think about things a little more. I don't know how that's working. Here, I think, because I can, there's a good reason to, to spiral those around, see what happens. Got quite a bit of paint there, and they're not leaving a huge impression of spirals, but that's okay with me too. Just sort of adding those little circle areas into the general vicinity of that band. It's okay with me. I'm going to try and take a second to look at it. I'm trying to take a second to decide I like it. I'm trying to take a second to steal some paint and make that area right there blend a little more with everything else. Maybe a little more blow. Where have I heard that before?
Yeah, I gotta get a level surface. This is not making me super, super happy. I am enjoying the fact that I put all those oranges in one area and they look really good. I also want to take... Ha! <laughs> right there. Give it the tiniest little squirt of Rain-X to catch that pattern up. This is like the most millefiori tiny little patterns. That's the Rain-X. Hey, I'm already here. I'm just going to keep spiraling. It says we got three minutes left. And it's a 20 minute timer. I don't mind that yellow kind of disappearing in with everything else. That doesn't bother me. And in general, I'm pretty happy with this. Just make anything that looks like I added it myself. I don't know. I want more of that pink. It must be up here somewhere. Found the purple. I don't think we're going to be able to keep that over there. I don't know why not. Doesn't seem like it should have anything to do with the levelness of the piece. I'd like to have it be a little more cohesive over there, but I don't think that you can worry about it too much with this kind of stuff either. Sometimes you just gotta take what you get. Yep, I'm gonna spiral them out. Because I can. And I think it's an improvement over what's there. And I love spirals. But you knew that if you've seen any of my videos. Because pretty much everything has spirals in it. So. Never too much gold, never too many spirals, and this is pretty cool. I'm gonna see what you can see and make sure you can see, period. I don't know what that white's doing up there. I can't remember putting it in there, but it, I bet I did though. <laughs> yeah, if in doubt, spiral it out. Probably gonna do the same thing over here. Makes me wanna add some pink over there. Maybe I will, maybe I won't and come back this way. That's an intense piece, I want to tell you what. I know you can only see part of that. I don't know if it'll focus, autofocus or not. No, not very good. Okay, so. I don't know if you enjoyed that or not. It was kind of different for me too. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, it's fun to experiment anytime. So have a good one. Bye for now from Expressionist Art Studio Gallery and Priscilla. See ya.